right, pussycat. Gee, you look nice tonight. Well, thank you. But lean over here and smile. I think you have something on your teeth. Oh, really? <laughs> Ma, why did you do that? Playboy is running a spread on the substitute teachers of Miami. <laughs> I, Sophia Petrillo, being of sound mind and body, do hereby leave my daughter, Dorothy's Bornak, nothing! <laughs> Sophia! It's a joke! I'm kidding, like when I said sound mind and body. <laughs> I know if he got to know me, he'd like me. Boy, I got to know you. I don't like you. <laughs> You just say that. Repeatedly. <laughs> Look, the Senior Citizen Center is divided into three cliques. The hip group, the not-so-hip group, and the broken hip group. <laughs> Finally, someone she can talk to. Aren't you gonna have one, Doc? Oh, no. Listen, after you've worked in a malt shop, the greatest pleasure you can get is slurping up what's left in the blender. <laughs> Um. Is it any wonder I never breastfed her? <laughs> oh, girls, I have writer's block. It is the worst feeling in the world. Try 10 days without a bowel movement sometimes. I hate blind dates. You know, Ma, I never would have agreed to this if it wasn't your best friend Edna's good-looking doctor nephew. Oh, he wasn't available anymore. He decided to buy a woman from the Philippines. <laughs> Actually, he bought two women. He wanted an extra for formal occasions. Then who is this guy? Well, to tell you the truth, I was on the bus. Wait a minute. You set Dorothy up with some guy you met on a bus? Please, it wasn't that glamorous. <laughs> I saw a sign on the bus. It said, lonely, can't make connections with that special person. So, I took $20 out of your purse, sent in a picture, they ran it through the computer, and boom, you got a social life. I don't understand. You should have that printed on a T-shirt. <laughs> hey, Frank, Sophia Petrillo here. Listen, I decided the price you quoted me on those centerpieces is too high, so I thought maybe we could make a deal. Now, my daughter is single. What do you mean, is she easy? You're talking about my flesh and blood. 40% off? Oh, you bet she's easy. Perfect after dinner treat. A nice dish of jello. I hate jello. <laughs> if God wanted peaches to spend it in midday, he would have filled them with helium. <laughs> what? Peter it, Rose, I'm busy. What are you doing? It's Tuesday night. I'm cleaning out my purse. <laughs> stuff come out of your purse? No, I was also cleaning out my ears. That's where the phenom and the rain bonnet came from. <laughs> Sophia, why are you in such a bad mood? Forgive me, Rose, but I haven't had sex in 15 years and it's starting to get on my nerves. <laughs> Dorothy, taste this. Mmm. Oh, Ma, that's wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> Smells fine to me. I don't know why they're recalling it. I have awesome news. Dating someone over 12? <laughs> Ma, you lied to me. Tooth Fairy, Santa Claus, Easter Bunny. I've been messing with your head for almost 60 years. <laughs> Disposable bottles and formula. We had to sterilize our bottles and make our formula? I nursed. Your brother was 12 when he stopped. <laughs> he wanted to come home from school at lunchtime. <laughs> Nothing left up here. Oh, Ma. Oh, hello, Sophia. Hello, Eddie. Woody, I never noticed that beauty mark on your neck. What beauty mark? That one! I waited up for you until two in the morning, and you still weren't home. Oh, yeah, Gertie and I and some of the girls went to Wolfie's to pick up guys. I called Wolfie's at 11. You weren't there. Guess who got lucky? Oh, God. <laughs> Sophia, when we thought you were leaving, we started talking about all the times we've oh, shared. It brought back a lot of great memories. Ma, I wouldn't be the same without <laughs> no, you. No, no. Hey, don't ever dramatize. Things aren't so terrific around here. The hell they're not. Things are terrific around here. <laughs>